Hey Intermediates, I am back with another recipe for you guys because we are now moving on into our custards and fillings unit. So today I'm going to demonstrate how to make pastry cream for you. Now this is one of the most important ones because it's so versatile. So every chef, pastry chef, baker, whatever, should know how to make this and have this in their back pocket at all times because it is so versatile. I am going to use this pastry cream to fill donuts tomorrow after it's cooled overnight. Um, but you could use this for so many things. We use it to fill cream puffs and eclairs. You can use it in fruit tarts, cream pies, you name it. And it's so, there's so many different flavorings you can add to it. That's what makes it so versatile. So it's so important to understand it, okay? All right, so in my pan right here, I have whole milk and sugar. And I'm just heating it up until it's scalded. So what that means, I don't wanna boil it because milk will boil over. And in my pot, my bowl here, I have uh, one whole egg, three egg yolks, sugar, and cornstarch. Now our cornstarch is going to be our thickening agent. Pastry cream is, is like thick pudding, essentially. So our cornstarch is what's going to thicken this, okay? And then I also have some butter, which I'm going to add in the end, and some vanilla bean paste. This is a fantastic product. You can get it at Bulk Barn or Michael's, and I highly recommend using the 50% off coupon to get it at Michael's, because it's really expensive, but it is so worth it. So I'm gonna add this at the end because I don't wanna cook out that beautiful vanilla flavor, all right? All right, so now that my cream, sorry, my milk and my sugar has heated, I need to slowly temper it into my eggs. And I'm gonna show you a little trick. So lots of times when you're in a bakery, you may be by yourself, someone else doesn't have time to help you. So in order for our bowl not to move around, we just take a wet cloth and we wring it up. No, I'm not gonna whip anyone with it. And I put it around the bottom of my bowl. Now that acts as like a little, um, a little mat, a little non-slip mat, so it doesn't move around. So I'm just gonna move this out of the way a bit because I am right-handed. So I'm going to put this on my right side and my hot pan on my left side. So tempering in, what that means is I don't wanna cook my eggs. I don't wanna have scrambled eggs. So I need to slowly pour in my hot milk while still whisking so that I can gradually bring those eggs up to the same temperature as the hot milk. So you see a little bit at a time here, just a little bit without hopefully making too much of a mess. And I'm continually whisking. Then what I have, say roughly half to three quarters of the milk added to my egg mixture, I can then return it to my pot. And the reason for that is, I'm just gonna add it all in. Now it's the same temperature. So now we're not done yet, okay? So now we've tempered our hot milk into our egg yolk and egg sugar cornstarch mixture. But now we need to cook that because cornstarch won't activate until it's cooked, okay? So you add it in with cold ingredients. So anytime you're using cornstarch, you just dilute it a little bit. You dilute it with some cold water, cold milk, whatever it is you're using. And then you add it and then you need to cook it, okay? So it was first added with my cold eggs and sugar but now I need to cook it so that this thickens. Now at this point, I'm back on my heat and it is really, really important to continually stir. If I am not stirring it, there's a really good chance that this will burn on the bottom and you do not want that. That is probably the biggest mistake I see, see from my students is that they're not stirring enough and it burns on the bottom and that does not uh, bode well in pastry cream. So I'm going to stir, stir, stir until this becomes really thick. And it's basically like thick as pudding. That's what you're looking for, okay? You need that cornstarch to activate, and the only way you can do that is from the heat. And then we're gonna cook it a little bit more just to cook out that flavor of the cornstarch, okay? So I'm just gonna keep stirring over kind of like a medium heat here until this thickens. And it really won't take long, okay? Your arm might start to get a little bit tired at first, but then once it's, the foam kind of dissipates off of the top of it, that's when it's gonna start to thicken. And as soon as it starts to thicken, 
cook it a little bit more to cook out that cornstarch, and then you're gonna take it off your heat. If not, it will burn, all right? All right, so let's talk about pastry cream versus creme anglaise and other custards, okay? So pastry cream is essentially a really thick custard, and once again, the cornstarch makes it that way. So the biggest difference between creme anglaise and uh, pastry cream is the cornstarch, okay? There's no starch to thicken a creme anglaise. And a creme anglaise is basically a dessert sauce that you can use on plate desserts, but it's also the base for ice cream. And it is thickened from the egg yolks only. All right, I'm already getting thick here. Super thick, actually. It's bubbling lots. It looks like pudding. Just a, another minute here. And now I'm done. So that really didn't take long. I'm gonna take it off my heat completely. Move this out of the way. So you can see how thick that is. That cornstarch activated. Not only does the cornstarch thicken it, but the egg yolks as well acts as the thickener. So now that it's off the heat and thickened, I'm going to add in my butter. You wanna do this after it's thickened. And I'm gonna add in a little bit of this vanilla bean paste. Yes, I probably should measure this, but I'm not going to today. Such a good product. It basically acts just like if you had a real vanilla bean. If you had a real vanilla bean, you would have steeped that into your milk in the first step of this uh, recipe. But now you can see all those little specks of vanilla. I'm stirring this in so that butter melts in. And it becomes nice and smooth. Look at that. Beauty. Simple, right? So at this point, if I wanted to make a chocolate pastry cream, I could add bittersweet chocolate right now and it would just melt in, become nice and smooth. Uh, that's chocolate pastry cream. You could add Nutella and make a hazelnut pastry cream. You could add strawberries to it later and have a strawberries and cream donut or, or a fruit tart, you name it. The possibilities are seriously endless. All right, it's done. We're done. However, we can't use it yet because it's too hot. What we need to do, we need to cool it down. So how we're going to do that, I'm going to transfer it to a shallow dish. And the reason I'm putting it into a shallow dish is because it's going to increase our surface area, which allows it to cool faster, okay? So it's gonna cool overnight. And then I'm gonna make donuts, fry them in the morning, and then fill them with it, okay? So I'm gonna take my pastry cream and spin it right into my shallow dish. Increasing that surface area, put it in the fridge, and it will cool. Now I know our rule of thumb is that we never cover hot items in the fridge. And why is that, once again? Because the heat doesn't have a chance to escape, right? Therefore, creating a breeding ground for bacteria, not food safe. However, this is a little bit um, an exception to the rule. Okay, we want to cover this because if not, a film will um, form on top. So like a crusty layer and we don't want that. So what we're going to do, we're going to take some plastic wrap and we're going to actually touch the top of it like this. That way it's going to prevent a film from forming on the top. So exception to our food safety rule, yes, I know, but keep in mind, uh, there's so much sugar and very little protein in most baked goods that it's not really a potentially hazardous food. Now this is a custard, so yes, it would go bad. However, we just don't want that film to form. So that's why, so this is what we do. We're gonna cover it up, pop it into the fridge, label and date it, right? Pop it into the fridge. When it's cool, it's ready to use. Um, when it's cool, you can then take it out, you stir it up a little bit. You can add some whipped cream to it um, to lighten it a little bit. I like to do that for cream puffs and whatnot. Once again, so versatile, perfect recipe to always have on you at all times, okay? All right, that is it for pastry cream. That is how it's made. Uh, I want you to remember the difference between pastry cream and creme anglaise and how they're thickened uh, and what each product is used for, okay? And that's about it for this recipe. Uh, I'll be coming back at you soon with another custard and filling one for our, uh, for that unit. And that's about it guys. All right, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks, bye guys.